Okay, so I'm gonna do a two-point perspective on here. Again, do the horizon line, and then I'm going to start to complete a grid on the ground to show you how to do a repeatable grid on the ground in two-point perspective, and I'll get on that. Okay, so I've created a grid here. I put my vanishing points off of my page just a little bit so you can still see them. I've created a nice little box just by going to those two vanishing points. So now I want to make a grid so that this box is repeatable and it's the same size as it's going back into perspective. The way that you complete the grid is by doing X marks the spot. I love doing X marks the spot. I think you're getting all this stuff. So here I'll show you. So this is a little bit high and that's a little bit off to the right, but either way, you do X marks the spot, that finds the center of this box. Now I take the center of that box and go to that vanishing point and take the center of the box and go to that vanishing point. Okay, so I have the center and it hits the center of this line and hits the center of that line. Notice that the distance here is larger than the distance there. That's because the plane has flattened down onto a ground plane going back into perspective. The closer you get to the horizon line, the more flat it gets, your view. So the more you get down, the more you see the top of certain things, and the more you go above the horizon line, the more the bottom of objects you see. So it kind of gives that type of an effect based on the horizon line. So it's going to be a shorter distance from here than here just because the plane is shifting backwards. Now I have found the center by doing X marks the spot. I'll show you how that actually finds the center. If you were to look down on a box here, if it were a perfect box, and you do X marks the spot, you know, and you find the center of that box. Got to make that box look a little bit better. <laughs> Anyways, you find the center of the box. What I'm going to show you is how do you get from this point to create another box that is exactly the same size. So if you take a line and you draw that, which is this line that I drew here, draw that across the center. I can go from one corner here to the center of the back opposing edge. If I were to draw this line completely horizontal and it was perfect and everything, it would create the edge of the next box that I need to build that is vertical. So now I have that center point. I can find the back side of that and do the same thing. Go from this corner through the middle of the opposing and wherever it lands, it will create the next box. So that's basically what we're doing in perspective. So I'll show you how to do that. So we go from one opposing edge to through the center and wherever it lands will create our next box. So if I wanna make a box on this side, I need to go on the opposing edge, which would be right here, through the middle, which would be right there. So you connect the dots, and wherever it touches, this edge will create the next back side of that line. So now I have these two boxes. Notice the distance here and here. This distance is shorter than that distance because it's closer to the horizon line. Now I just do that again. Go from this corner of this box through the middle and wherever it lands will create the next one. So now I have one, two, three boxes that are created. And I just continue to do that. See this box here? Go from that corner to the center. And I will just continue to do that to show you. Okay, now I've created one, two, three, four, five boxes. That looks good enough for me. I'm gonna create five boxes on this side and then enclose it all and you'll be able to see all the boxes. 
So I'm going to do the same exact thing. If I want to make a box on this side, I need to pick the furthest corner from this box that I want to create and connect it from that corner through the middle and wherever it lands will be my next one. I'll make the series and show you. Okay, so now I've created one, two, three, four, five, and five over here. Now I have a grid, 25 boxes that are sitting in relationship to each other. So you might want to know why these lines look longer than these lines. It's because I'm not completely center between these two vanishing points. If I was center, it'd be over here and they would look exactly the same. Because I've shifted my view a little bit off to the right, I'm seeing less of this edge and more of this edge. So that's how you create a pattern on the floor of a two-point perspective.